Hi, welcome to Munchin' Movies. I'm Scott. I'm Sam. And today, Game of Thrones, Season 7, Episode 5. So, let's just jump right into it because there's a lot that happened in oh, this. They finally covered so much and it's so little time. So, okay, yeah, start. Yeah, it okay. definitely wasn't the most... Ex I don't know. It, it was, was exciting. It was very intriguing throughout the entire episode. Oh, you know there, I mean? was, there was so much strategy. There was so much like, well, if you do this, then you need to do this. Well, then you go here, and then you go here. Yeah. And it was like, oh my gosh, I can't keep up. So, <laughs> alright. Alright, so start off with uh, Daenerys and the army. Oh, well, first off, Jamie and them, I have to say this, they get away from Daenerys. That's bull crap. Daenerys should have caught Jamie and Bronn. I think that that was just totally yeah. bu bupkis. I think she was just more concerned about her dragon. Okay, bupkis. <laughs> and may maybe she just assumed he was going to drown. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I don't know. But her, her but ruling, her but, judgment. Okay, so Daenerys is trying to make a name for herself, and that name is Tough But Fair, right? By giving the Lannister army a choice, bend the knee or be burned. And of course the Tarleys being the bozos that they are, they uh, chose not to and they got burned alive. Oh, it was crazy. Well, I, and I just real quick, I guess I have to say, is how does that make you feel? Does you think, do you think that she was fair about it? I think so. Um, they bring up in the afterward thing that that's the difference between her and her father is that yes sh she may be severe but at least she gave him a choice so that doesn't make her insane at least they had a choice no it doesn't make her insane but i do think it was actually the wrong choice i think it's going to bite her in the butt later because and i think it would have been better for you saw that even the people most of the people weren't really bending their knee immediately they wanted to uh some of them bend their knee immediately and then most of them bent their knee because they're like oh gosh dragons so it kind of shows how forceful she is rather than being like that she's taking them being over led time. by fear instead of like yeah, yeah like she released the other people from slavery but she did it over time so i don't think she's getting the same treatment here i for think she's getting impatient she just really wants to get this done yeah. and and it you're right it may come back to bite her but um, john and the dragon yeah so when when daenerys comes back from winning the battle <gasps> There's a connection between her and Drogon. Yes! Between, uh -oh, between John. John and Drogon. And yes. It was so funny, actually. I have to bring this up. We were watching it, and as the dragon lands, and it's getting closer to him, and he's pulling his glove off, and he's about to pet it. Right as he's about to pet it, our HBO shut off. And I it goes back to the was Xbox screen. pissed! <laughs> I screamed at HBO. I cursed it. For yeah, and Sam me. just curses to the sky. No! And it's like... Calm down. It, no, HBO I, has I, to I know. know this is Game of Thrones, but calm down. <laughs> <gasps> exactly. It is Game of Thrones. Anyway, so Daenerys sees the connection. John sees the connection. It wasn't but, as big as I thought it would be, but I, but, I still thought it was cool. Well, the, okay, and it will come later, but that connection was there. It's happened. That's the starting point. Huzzah. Moving on. Yeah. Okay, so we find out that Sam who is so frustrated with his life at the Citadel, he says, screw it, and grabs all the forbidden documents out of the... Well, before he says, screw it, he oh, he, yeah. he has the conversation with the guys at the Citadel, telling them, the no, Mesa. you guys need to do this, and they're like, like they Bran's actually make fun of them. Yeah, they think he's crazy, they don't think Bran is real, that he's really the Three-Eyed Raven. And so he leaves then, and he goes back to his quarters, and he see, hears uh, his... Uh, Gilly... Of course, of course, Game of Thrones would do this. You know, we're we're more concerned about Samwise, but then suddenly Gilly brings up this story of Rhaegar. But of course, we all know that oh, Rhaegar. Yeah, I I love that. I'm pretty sure that you know, like as she was talking, saying this stuff, he's like, "This is silliness. Why am I listening to this silly crap when I could be uh, helping John with the fight?" And, and it's I'm like, sure the rest of the audience just... was like, "No, you just missed it, dude. Just ah." Anyway, so I know HBO did that on purpose just to get a rise out of us, and it worked. Good job. Yeah. But anyway, so so him and Gilly just up and leave because he's like, screw it. I'm done. I'm Which is cool. I'm glad he's get, getting out of there. I think he ha he could have done more there, um, but I'm excited to see where he goes on his journey. Also, he's the head of the house now. He doesn't know this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't know that. They haven't told him, and he just leaves. But, but Yeah, both the Tollies were burned, yes. Yeah, so <gasps> he's still wise. 
or, or not Sam Wells, Sam Well, sorry, mixing up my genres. So, so. anyway, moving on. Um, okay, so we find out, uh, John finds out about the White Walkers are coming and Bran knows about them. And so him, uh, so John, Jorah, Davos, all make their way to the Wall. Well, didn't you want to talk about um, uh, Baratheon's son? Um, Robert Baratheon's. Uh, afterwards. Okay. Um, yeah, they make their way to the Wall and there's like this awkward reunion with the Hound and all of the people in the cell. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know all their names, but all of the people in the cell and their mission and conflicting with John and all of their mission and they're like, well, we're working on the same team here. We're kind of like going towards the same thing, but you guys might kill us. And they're like, well, we don't like you either. And it's like, all right, come on. We're, we're our fighting zombies. And, it's okay. And, and so the whole reason of them going <laughs> is that they, the only way to prove to Cersei that the White Walkers are really real and that there's a more formidable foe out there is to bring one of the little effers back. And it's like, are you insane? I also, a bit of like trying to predict the future, I also think it's fun to give John and the Hound a time to maybe bond because Arya actually still wants to kill him. True. So True. if they bond together and make some sort of camaraderie to out there in the field, it's going to make that death even better, which Game of Thrones loves to just True. ruin everything for us well, like that. Well, and another aspect that we didn't talk about is Tyrion... To put this idea in Cersei's head, he arranges this this meeting with with um, Jamie, and luckily it turns out okay. But I think it's going to come back to bite him in the butt later, especially yeah. Jamie because you know she, Cersei's like you were betrayed by Bronn. He arranged this oh. meeting, and but but at least the idea has been put in Jamie and Cersei's head about the Snake and White Walkers, whether or not something bad comes. And from. Real quick, speaking of Cersei, because there's a couple things we need to hit on Cersei, but she basically tells uh, Jamie, "You need to kill Bronn." Yeah, it's like, and he just saved Jamie. Jamie's life, and you know, and it's causing this rift. She's also leading to the fact that she's pregnant, and that she's, she's going to openly, she's going to openly give him the kingdom, basically. If she tells him that it's his, he'll be the king, right? Actually, I have a theory about the baby thing. Okay, it is a proven fact that the 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 foretelling that she had earlier in the seasons said that her three children will die before she does. I don't think this baby will come to fruition. <laughs> I'll snap! <laughs> no, for real! <laughs> and, and, and it's foretold that she's going to be killed by one of her brothers. Is it going to be Jamie? Is Jamie going to kill the mother of his child? I actually think Jamie is, is most it, likely to kill Cersei. Or it could be Tyrion. It's still a younger brother. I, I think Tyrion would be the... Um, the non-Game of Thrones way of doing it, like, oh yeah, we're going to pit this person against this person. That's like a Hollywood thing to do. But Game of Thrones, they're going to pin... The least likely people! Brother lover against each other to, you know, to, you know... How very gays of more, our lives. Yeah. yeah, to make it more impactful. Yeah. But also, real quick on Cer Cersei, um, uh, this goes to Arya, the next part <gasps> we're talking yes, about. So, yes, 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 yes. Arya follows Littlefinger around, and you can tell, you're like, Littlefinger's leading her on, Littlefinger's leading her on, come on, Arya, you're better than this. But she allows herself to get into his trap, and she reads a note inside of his chambers that's supposed to say something. Um, basically, we pause the Damn video me. and try to read some of it. I'm sure everyone did, too. And and from what we could gather, of course, we couldn't read it very well, but your theory is... My theory is that the note is talking about Joffrey and Cersei, and what it's implying is, and maybe everyone's like, this is already implied, you're stupid, but um, that... I think that they're implying that Sansa is still working with Cersei. And because Arya has told uh, Sansa she wants to kill Cersei, that's causing that's going to cause the wedge between the two. And that's what's going to give Littlefinger the leverage to pull Sansa back towards him, push our Arya away, and hopefully actually destroy the family that they've already, they finally got built back up. That's my real worry, and that's why I actually feel like Littlefinger is one of the worst people here. But Yeah, no, that little effort needs to die. I'm sorry, but anyway. So, so a lot to go through. Sorry we had to run through it, but, you know, like, comment, let us know what you think, see if there's anything that we missed, and uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, thanks. Bye!